Tecno Mobile has always been considered to be tiers below Samsung in basically every aspect possible. The fact that majority of consumers consider One UI to be better and more reliable, the fact that Samsung uses better display technology, the fact that Tecno's 108 megapixel cameras, surprisingly, aren't as good as Samsung's 50 megapixel cameras. But today we will judge it all. We're going to be comparing the Tecno Spark 20 Pro which was Tecno's most amazing budget smartphone of 2023 against the Samsung Galaxy A15 which in my opinion is the first Samsung budget phone to be worth every penny of its asking price. So which one is actually better? First is the unboxing experience and I would say that this is one area which Samsung is never going to win again because they provide just the smartphone and a USB-C cable, so you're gonna have to spend more to buy your accessories such as the charging brick, the protective case, etc. Meanwhile Tecno still prioritizes the experience. You get a fast charging brick, USB-C cable, pair of earphones, a TPU case and a SIM ejector tool. And the reason why you're getting earphones is because on the Spark 20 Pro there's a headphone jack which is insane to see nowadays and that is already an advantage over the Galaxy A15 because it doesn't have, but is that what makes the Spark 20 Pro better in the hardware category? We would find out in a bit. And the design of both phones is amazing. But I feel that the Technos is better. They both have glass on the front and plastic on the rear but the Tecno Spark 20 Pro is slightly curved which aids comfort whilst being held. On the other hand, the Samsung went for the iPhone aesthetic, with stabby sides. The side frame is curved, but the connection between that and the faces isn't seamless. Also this there will be some sort of protrusion on the Samsung Galaxy A15 because of the camera module, unlike the Spark 20 Pros, which is less jetty. I can think of a lot of people who don't care about the wobbling created from camera bumps but it's not for me. Oh and if you are enjoying this video a sub to the channel will be incomparable. The hardware though, differs greatly. The Tecno Spark 20 Pro has a headphone jack, a mono speaker setup which is okay but not anywhere as good as the stereo speakers on the Samsung Galaxy A15. They both have side-mounted fingerprint scanners as well as IP53 dust and splash-proof rating. In a way both are pretty matched because we are still getting a headphone jack, nothing beats that. The performance is almost the same because both phones are powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 which is an average performer, and the Tecno starts out at 256GB of internal storage and up to 16GB of RAM which is made possible because of virtual RAM technology whilst on the other hand the Samsung has just 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, with both having support for an external memory card. People have always claimed that Samsung's budget smartphones are better at RAM management than Tecno despite having just 6GB and I think the reason for that is Samsung uses better RAM technology which has greater reading writing speed. Anyways I feel that Samsung budget phones feel more smooth whilst multitasking. Onto the software we're getting high OS 13 on the Tecno and One UI 6 on the Samsung. Though Hi OS is getting better and better every version I think nothing else is more important in a software experience than the software support. And though this Spark 20 Pro doesn't have any software support, the Spark 20 Pro Plus finally brings two years of major OS updates, I have the video about that phone on this channel, link in the description. That in itself doesn't stop the fact that the Samsung Galaxy A15 pastes it in this category because, yes, this A15 is going to support not 2 or 3, but 4 years of Android software which is just ludicrous. The display category is a mixed bag. The Spark 20 Pro has an IPS panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and the Samsung has an OLED panel with 90Hz refresh rate. I'll take the Samsung side, because an OLED panel is miles ahead in quality than the regular LCD screen, with crunchy dark contrast and color accuracy which when put against a dark wallpaper even tries to hide the screen bezels, camera cutout or any form of interruption, and 90Hz is still very smooth. You'd probably notice the difference between a 60Hz and 90Hz panel when put side by side but 90Hz and 120Hz, not so much. 
The battery life is splendid as both phones pack a ginormous 5000 mAh battery which lasts just as you should expect, but the real difference comes in charging. The A15 has an upgraded charging speed, from 15 watts to 25 watts whereas the Spark 20 Pro has 33 watts and still comes with the charger included. So we don't need to sit there still deciding who gets this point. That attention needs to be shifted to the battle of the cameras because we're getting a 50 megapixel camera on the Samsung and a 108 megapixel camera on the Techno. Though the Samsung's camera should be impressive, the Techno's 108 megapixel camera still does enough better to maintain its place. And besides the MediaTek Helio G99 should do just well in both image and video processing on both devices. So they should be pretty matched in camera performance. That now draws the obvious question, which is better? Looking at both phones, if you are looking for a better display, cameras or software experience, then the Samsung Galaxy A15 is just right, but if you are considering instead a better unboxing experience, minimalistic design, a larger base storage or faster charging, I will recommend the Spark 20 Pro but in my opinion I feel that overall the Samsung takes the crown as in a mold panel at this price is unbelievable, but let me know which phone you prefer between the two. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'm Hillary this is Harry21 and I'll catch you in the next one.